at number 14. Juha Pekka from Finland is having a well-earned play break. Can he build it? Yes, he can. This boundary-breaking builder is using a 20-ton excavator to assemble tiny toy blocks. I've no idea how he did it. You can hardly see these bricks from the cab, let alone get them in the right place. Yeah, how's this even possible? Isn't an excavator designed for moving massive objects? In all fairness, it's quite a ridiculous idea because it's using completely the wrong tool for the job. Excavators use hydraulics to transmit power from a pump to the head of the claw. Hydraulics use an incompressible fluid, such as oil. This means that if you apply pressure at one end, it can't be squeezed and the pressure is transferred to somewhere else in the system. If you look at the excavator, you can see thin tubes in some places and much wider pistons in others. By pushing in where it's thin, you don't have to use as much force. That pressure, though, is the same at the other end, but there's a bigger area, and that gives you a much bigger force. That means that this excavator is really great in making big, powerful movements, but it's really hard to make these really small movements and pick up these bricks. So how is Yuha operating this monster machine with such skill and dexterity? When you play with toy blocks, you're getting constant feedback from your touch. The driver of the excavator, though, doesn't get that. He's just pushing a button to move the bits around. He has to try and look to see what's happening and adjust accordingly. The one clever trick that makes the whole thing possible is he's building on a padded surface. This way, if he accidentally moves it too far, instead of crushing the block, he just pushes it into the padded surface. Which means there's no denying the scale of Yuha's achievement.